Good morning. Bonjour. Hola. I don't know any other words for hello. So, hi. I'm Devin. I am an artist on YouTube and today is a very special day because we are going to be doing a art studio tour. Yay! So before we get started, I just wanted to say that everything you're going to see in my studio, it's also my bedroom um, because I don't have a proper space for my own art stuff yet. But I will in the future, eventually, hopefully, fingers crossed. So I just wanted to let you all know that I have been, I don't want to say collecting because then it makes me sound like I'm a hoarder. What is the best word for this? I've been doing art consistently. There we go. I've been doing art consistently for about three years now. So I have a lot of stuff. And I don't want anybody to get discouraged or anything if you don't have what I have. Um, I'm just putting that disclaimer out there before we get started because I feel like I do have a lot of supplies. Okay, let's go. So this is my desk. This is where the magic happens in the videos. So here's my little arm aperture, aperture, arm armature armature yes my armature that's where how i film my videos i always connect it with my phone and i just put my phone there and then it does this bottom view and then the camera i'm holding is actually how i've been getting all my close-ups um this is my diary i've been doing the artist way and i absolutely love it so my morning pages are in here over here is a whole bunch of sketchbooks that i've been working on um, hopefully a um, sketchbook tour will be coming shortly, hopefully. Here I keep this pouch with a whole bunch of stickers, a ruler, and then I just have a whole bunch of like travel keepsake things that I want to keep and make like an art journal out of. What are my plans? This one is dying. I need to figure out how to fix him with my show me your excuse me we don't need to hear you right now I'm talking not you okay okay this is my show me your pities tumbler that I just got here's another potted plant here's some more over here more plants that's another plant and then this is my um, pen holder. I keep scissors in here, highlighters, pencils, things like that. Over here, this is like my little art cart thing. Um, I have a couple of palettes. This one my mother-in-law got for me. I made this one. And then this is a uh, ceramic plate that I actually found at like home goods and then I have all of my brushes laid out by flat round and then I like to call these ones my specialty brushes so anything that looks different then. and then I have a little spray bottle for to wet my palettes I use this sometimes if I want to make circles and then my Chobani cup I'm reusing. Um, these are my water cups that I keep together. On the side, I have a whole bunch of washi tape. Yeah. And then I also have little clips in here. And then this is a washi tape that I'm using right now. I use scrap paper in between my pages just so that I don't get the previous page dirty. I have tracing paper, I have a hair blower, hair, yeah, hair dryer. <laughs> um, and then I have a whole bunch of acrylic paint down here. I have an organizer for stickers. So I'm getting ready to open a shop soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. And Here's a sneak peek of some of my stickers. 
here. In this drawer I have some pencils, charcoal, um, graphite pencils, and I have like these markers. In this drawer I keep my um, crayons, aqua pastels. I also have I have colored pencils. These are all of my art supplies, pretty much. I'm one of those people that likes to have everything laid out in front of me so, so that I can see everything. So on the top shelf, I have like a whole bunch of cardstock paper and things like that. This belongs to my Cricut. So these are a whole bunch of colored pencils. I painted this little candle holder into like a little strawberry. He's so cute. Here I have a whole bunch of like different um, water brushes, gel pens, micron pens. Right here I have these Arteza watercolor brush pens. Then right here, these are all of my acrylic brush pens or paint pens. This is another set of kind of crappy markers that I just keep in here. These are like Crayola. I hate these markers, whatever they are. Focus. Pentel color pen. I don't know. I hate them. They're, they're terrible. Don't get them. And then these are all my Sharpie markers. I actually got all of these um, at the Goodwill which was crazy. I wasn't expecting to find good art supplies or Sharpies. And I think I only got them for $5. And I painted this other candle holder into like ocean waves, which I thought was cool. Here are some more paint pens. I believe what are, these are Artistro. And then back here, these are all of my washi tapes. And then my Aunt Devon mug that I cherish. These have the Jane Davenport um, inks, I believe. In this little bin, I have a whole bunch of um, bookbinding stuff. And in here, I keep all of my markers, inks, and then these are my alcohol markers. I have the Art X kind, and then I have the Michaels brand. I actually like the Michaels brand of alcohol markers way more than the other kind. So that is the first shelf. Moving on to the second shelf. These are a whole bunch of paint supplies. These are like the dollar brand of um, acrylic paint that I keep in here. Then this is my gouache bin. This is a jelly gouache that I got from Five Below. If you want to check out that video, I just came out with it last week. I will leave a little link. Then I have some Liquitex, and then I have a whole bunch of Winsor & Newton down here and Arteza gouache. Here I have a whole bunch of clay stuff if I ever get back into doing ceramics. In here I have pastels, so I have Crayola crayons, oil pastels. Oops. And then down here I have some Jane ba Davenport palette pastel. These are pretty much soft pastels. They're just in like a eyeshadow palette type thing. And then these are a whole bunch of um, sponges that I use for the soft pastel. In here, this is all my glue that I use. Like I have Mod Podge in here, Elmer's glue, silicone, and a hot glue gun. In this bin, I have puffy paint, and I have, I think this is like glass paint. I have never used this yet. <laughs> I'm one of those people that like will buy things, I have these ideas, and then I sometimes just don't execute them. On the third shelf, this is my Cricut. I plan to do stickers eventually, so that's what I'm going to use to cut them out. I got that as a gift from my mom for Christmas. And then this is my watercolor stuff. So I have an Arteza palette. I I just got this when I was in Greece. It is the um Oh my gosh. 
Who are these white knights? Who are you? Who are you? Somebody tell me what these are. There's some regular watercolor paints. I think they're like the Michaels brand or off brand. This is a watercolor palette that I got as a gift. It's my travel watercolor palette. I have a Jane Davenport watercolor palette. So then these are the Van Gogh set of watercolors that I got. I'm going to be doing a video on that soon. And then I have a whole bunch of the masking fluid. I hate masking fluid. I plan to do a video on that too because I hate it. And then I have these other watercolors. Yeah, what are these called? I don't know why. I really thought these were white knights. What did I do when I was shopping? So down here are a whole bunch of random supplies, except in this bin. This is my printmaking bin. So down here and here, these are like crafty type supplies. Um, yeah, there's just a whole, it's a hot mess down there. And here, I have stamps and stencils and then I have a whole bunch of my art supplies in there that are for printmaking and jelly printing. Here is a beautiful creature in the wild. Hello. Welcome to the floor. Um, this is the floor portion of this video. Because I don't have a lot of space in here. I also keep a lot of stuff under my bed. I have a whole bunch of sketchbooks down here. I have some paper that I plan to make books out of. Um, some tracing paper, some easels. Okay, here's a block print. And then these are a whole bunch of sketchbooks in here. All this is sketchbooks. And then there's a, another painting down there. And in this one is a whole bunch of linoleum block. More sketchbooks. And on this side, I have uh, a portfolio, some paper, and then another portfolio down there. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed my studio tour and seeing what it looks like behind the scenes of what I do. I did this whole video kind of spontaneously, so hopefully it didn't turn out too bad. I'd feel bad if it looked bad. I might not even post this if it looks that bad. So, anywho, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!